YouTubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today is a review, uh, not Napoleonic for a change. Uh, these are the figures in question. Let me quickly get up the uh, bit of a card. Can we all see that? That's Claymore Castings. It's a UK company. I believe based in Scotland. Funny enough as it's Claymore Castings. Um, they do, at the moment, uh, medieval uh, figures. Now, as you can see, I'm an old bloke with whose hair, when it's not grey, is falling out. Uh, but in 30 odd years of painting figures on and off, I've never painted medieval. I keep scratching my head to think if, I've, if I actually have, and I, I just don't think I have. So, well, hey. Um, I've loved these figures uh, since, you know, I saw them, you know, last year sometime. I particularly wanted to have a go at some knights uh, with the, the horses with all the heraldry on. I, you know, they're like a blanket thrown over the horses. I have no idea what <laughs> what they're actually called. Um, but uh, again, medieval, I have no idea on anything. But I've always wanted to do all the heraldry, paint them on. Um, you know, Dan's been doing some with his uh, GW stuff, <laughs> fantasy knights, if you want to call them that. Uh, and I fancied doing some myself for, you know, for a couple of years. I just didn't find the sculpt that uh, really sold them to me. Uh, but these do. They're, they're actually a set for a diorama. And, and on their website, they say they can be classed almost... Well, I've got to be careful because it's remembering what they actually said on their website. But basically, expect to stick them together. Expect to do a bit of filling. Uh, you can use them as walk, you know, single figures or whatever you want to do on a you know, couple of figures on a stand, whatever. Um, but these were basically done for a diorama. I believe, um, I can't even remember, the, the guy was named Blind John. He was blind, funny enough. Uh, and he, I'm sure if it was Cressy, he, uh, he wanted to join his son in, in, the, in the battle. Uh, he asked his retinue who was with him. Obviously, they all put their hands up and said, yeah, me. Uh, they tied the horses together so that his wouldn't stray off and they went pell-mell into the enemy. I can't tell you what happened to him, uh, or his retinue for that matter. There's a bit, lot more people more knowledgeable than I on here that could say, tell you that. Um, but yeah, and that's what this, this little set of four figures depicts. Now, I won't be doing that as Blind John and his retinue. I'll, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to make the heraldry up, but I'm going to, I'll have a good hunt through and see something that catches my eye, and they will be a group of knights charging. That's, that's all they'll be. It won't be for that particular um, scene. So join me down at the bench and we'll have a look at these and uh, you know, you can tell me what you think. So I'll catch you down on the bench in a minute. Thanks for joining me at the bench guys. Uh, once again, quick look at this Claymore Castings. I don't think there's a website. Actually, it might be on the back actually. I like to give a, a company a, a shout out if I believe the stuff's worth shouting out. And I do believe that is the case with this uh, this company. So that's Claymore Castings out of the way. Let's have a look at their their figures. Let's see if we can bring this uh, this a bit closer. All right. I will bring them up to the camera slightly. This camera may well move again. It's a work in progress. My uh, my video rigs at the moment, but we'll get there. Right. So they come in two pieces. Sorry if there's any glare, but they're obviously white metal. 28 millimeter white metal. Uh, horses are in two halves. I'm not going to try and hold them together. I've tried it on a practice run, and uh, <laughs> I was dropping them more than I was holding them. A couple of little uh, locating pegs, I believe. They all come with either bits of uh, mail or quilt show of armor showing under the horses. Uh, this guy is actually Blind John and his horse himself, I believe. So there will be, let's just try and push this together one last time, just so you can get an idea of any filling that might be required. Well, it will be required, but unfortunately, sorry guys, I keep going off camera. It's, as I say, it's getting used to a new camera rig. Right, if I can't get this done in the, <laughs> in the next minute or so, it's uh, it's not happening. No, I'm not going to faff around with it. 
but you get the picture anyway, stick them together, fill them, sand them down and uh, they'll be good to go. The only thing, there's a couple of, I like to say it like it is, um, on this one I've just caught it in the light, let me have a look, I didn't see it before, yep, there's a bit of a hole there. Uh, it's not a massive detraction, you wish it wasn't there, um, means it's obviously a bit thin, but you know, you've got to fill the rest of it so it's not going to be hard to, to put some in there, push it through and then sand it from the other side. And in, in truth, probably this guy's torso, uh, legs and that will be in the way anyway. That's his bottom half. Again, I'm not going to try and hold them together. I'm not going to go into you know all the bits of armour because I have absolutely no idea. But it looks like it's going to be a fun painting project anyway. I'll probably be selling these on at some stage. He's got armour on the front of his on the front of his uh, head there, the horse obviously, with his uh, horse blanket, <laughs> I don't know, bed sheet, whatever you want to call it, thrown over the top. But that's going to take some really nice heraldic devices if you can, if I can get my painting skills up enough to do them. Obviously, sword raised in hand. It's a nice straight, straight enough sword. I've not seen a huge amount of mold lines. There's got to be some, but there's nothing that I've seen apart from I say I've seen that thin hole, and I think there's another one with a, a bit of a hole. Which, as I say, you wish it wasn't wasn't there, but it, when you're filling the horse, it's not going to take a, a large amount to do that. Uh, this is he's got two helms. Uh, this is the first one. I might well be using that one because I like the way these are. Again, I have no idea what these are called, <laughs> but they look like they're flowing, you know, along with the movement of the horse. And I think that'd be nice to try and replicate that if possible. The other one, if you don't want to go along with all that jazz, is just the plume, plumed hell. Again, really nice, really nice details. I'm sure that uh, when the uh, when the paint's applied, they'll look quite spectacular now this is a another one again not this is I think this is his, they call them sergeant at arms I'm just picking the bits up off the bag randomly he's got the just the normal helmet that you'd see the the lower classes I take where you just see a bit of a mold line on his uh, raised arm there now he's got as if he's holding a standard there's no wire or anything uh, comes with him so I take it it's a standard he's supposed to be holding so I'll have to look out for something um, to uh, to make up for a standard of whatever I decide to paint these guys. I take it he'd be roughly in the colours of the of the main man. Again, until I've done research, I'll, I'll have a clue. Can we see his little face? Not massively, but yeah, very nice. Horse again. All these two parts. He's got his uh, his mail actually on the front. Now this is the one I think that's also got. Yeah, I'll just quickly show it again, just for the sake of honesty. As I say, I bought these myself. You know, I don't represent the company or anything like that. There's another hole there. It's a shame that these are in, but again. It's nothing, you know, we're not looking like a cannonball's gone through the side of it, although that would stretch in it as it's the Middle Ages, but you, you know what I mean. A uh, bit of filler in there, that'll be fine. You don't mind it so much on things like this because you've got to do the, the you know, where the joins of the horse's two halves are anyway, so it's not a massive, a massive thing. Come with two shields, I take it he's holding... As the other guy hasn't, as his as his master or leader, or whatever, hasn't got his shield. I take it he's holding both of them, his own and the gaffers. So uh, that's that guy. Again, let's have a look at the two halves again. This one's all. I've already pre-checked this one. I think I think this one's fine.
again there's a lot of scope there for no that one's got another little oh is it no it might be on the thin this one might be thin there's another tiny one might be there it might just be the glare on the thing on the camera but uh, I love again the horses they're those heavy duty horses you know they've got these are four locks I believe and you've got all the shaggy horses hair growing down them again they should look they should look really nice I'm quite excited to paint these at some stage they won't be for a couple of weeks so I will be dr hopefully drilling all this in fill out uh, so I think it detracts you don't have to but if you're going to go to the extent of sticking these together filling them all the rest of it the time taken to drill those reins out will be well spent he's got his armor on his uh, on his head Again, it's uh, the, you know the glare of the cam, the the lights and whatever, and on the white metal, it doesn't make it easy. But you'll see them better when I stick them together and prime them, and I'll do another show and tell. Just, just we'll do this as another playlist project. This is one of his boys. And he's got a lance and a shield. I won't, the shield is the same as the, the larger version I've just shown you. I won't bother getting that up. But there's his lance. His arm's attached. Probably do some of those nice stripes up the pole, maybe. I want to make these really colourful if possible. As I say, I don't want to be drawn into doing the scenario itself. I would prefer to be, uh, to be doing my own thing. Again, that's a lovely pose, isn't it? You know, the horse rearing up and you've got the, the movement. Again, in white metal, it doesn't look a lot, but by the time you've got some paints and some shadows in there and you've got the, the quilt underneath, you know, for the, for the extra protection for the horse, I think that's going to look really nice. Now, this guy's actually like a casualty. I think it's a cracking one-piece pose. And you can see his helmet's flown off his head. I'll take it... I'm not sure yet if that's has he got he's got a shield so I'm not sure if the yeah I think I'm not sure if the the helmet's flying off his head yet because I'm not sure if they you know like a Napoleonic uh, shako for a cavalryman or something whatever would be attached you know so if it fell off his head it was still hanging on him he didn't lose it I'm not sure if that's the same with this or if that's th that might well be for his shield the actual strap that's coming down but he's obviously taking a hit you know, whether from a, another lance, or you could even, you know, drill and put a, an arrow into him or something. Uh, this is his busted up lance, so you can, tell, you can say he's taking a charge against the enemy, and they've uh, they've splintered up his. Sorry, guys, and they've splintered up his lance. That's all. This here is actually uh, just obviously where they've put a cut the cast itself. see the tip of it going off there if we're a bit careful trying to actually make that without taking the rest of it off but we'll get there and there we go there's his head again beautiful the way that the fabric you know where you've got the horse you know he's obviously holding on to the rein where is where the rider's taking that hit and you know put maybe you know the horse is really uh, feeling it Again, drill the front of those out, those reins out, get a little file in there. I think a set that re will really reward the time spent on it, and it will take some time. You know, if you with this particular set, I think if you're going to rush it, rush at it just for say a war games table, um, you. I mean, it'll look fine, you know, but it. it I think you really want to go to town on this one. You know they've spent a lot of time and effort and probably money sticking these these casts together, and I do really think they would be rewarded with a you know a, a fair bit of time spent on them. So uh, I have got another another little set of uh, four. I'm looking at the bag four figures, uh, but I'm going to leave it for another video just because you know I don't want to talk your head off um, if you're not really interested in medieval knights. <laughs> um, so yeah. Hopefully you'll see these starting to be put together in the row. I'll put this in a separate playlist and uh, they're going to be 
an ongoing project. I will. Pr I'll talk once once I've actually got the figures in a paintable. I'm not sure yet whether I'll do one or two at a time or do you know stick them all together, and clean them all together, all that type of thing, um, and then just paint them one at a time. I'm not I'm not 100 sure yet, but uh, I will probably as this is going to be a small diorama that I, I was casting around already for maybe a few casualties and things like that. So um, yeah. Uh, this one's going to be enjoyable, I think. Um, I've got, as I say, I've got another little bag of four figures, uh, foot knights. Uh, won't be for this diorama. These are going to be. These are actually going to hopefully pay for the, <laughs> for this one. So I'm going to actually paint these uh, four fi foot figures up and um, and sell them on. But uh, no, I'm 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 really looking forward to doing something a bit different for me. Uh, yeah, it's historical again, uh, but it is something I genuinely don't think I've ever painted in 30 years. So. Uh, Looking forward to it. So guys, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this video. You take care of yourselves. We'll catch each other very soon on another one. Cheers.